Central Bogota on lockdown after a homemade bomb was detonated inside this upscale mall. It was crowded with shoppers when the explosion happened. We saw thick black smoke coming from the second floor and a strong smell of rubber. People started to run after they heard the explosion. They were running everywhere. Streets around the mall were cordoned off and buildings cleared as emergency services raced to the scene. The injuries sustained by some were severe. President Juan Manuel Santos visited the mall with a message for those responsible. An attack like this, a bomb in a women's bathroom in a shopping center, is a vile, cruel and cowardly act, and we're not going to rest until we find out who's behind it. Colombians should be fully aware that we're going to capture those responsible and make sure justice is served. Attentions turn to Colombia's largest active rebel group, the National Liberation Army, or ELN. The group has denied being involved, but in February it claimed responsibility for a bombing near the city's bullring, which killed a police officer and injured 20 others. The group is in peace talks with the government, but those talks appear to have stalled in recent days. Those who want to water down the peace process will not be successful. If this is a manifestation of that, they should know with absolute certainty that enemies of peace will be hunted down. Last year, Santos won the Nobel Peace Prize for leading reconciliation efforts with the much bigger FARC rebel group. The FARC says it's on track to hand over all its weapons to the UN by Tuesday. Colombia's 53-year civil war with FARC rebels technically ended with last year's deal. But the attack on the mall shows security is still a problem, despite the progress towards peace. Alexia O'Brien, Al Jazeera.